This footage now uh, was uh, shot earlier this morning. You see in the foreground Valentina Tereshkova, who was the first woman to fly in space in 1963. A short time from now, just 23 minutes from now, So Yun Yi, at the age of 29, will become the youngest woman ever to fly in space. You see her parents uh, watching her suit up today in the Site-254 integration and assembly facility at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The uh, crew uh, arrived uh, to begin their suit-up procedures about 1.30 central time uh, this morning. A large uh, crowd of well-wishers uh, on hand. Uh, following uh, the suit-up, uh, the crew uh, made its way in the traditional walk towards uh, their greeting uh, to uh, the head of the State Commission uh, before boarding uh, the bus under clear skies uh, behind uh, Sergei Volkov. Valery Korzun, who was the Expedition 5 commander along with Peggy Whitson back in 2002. And you see final uh, well wishes and uh, greetings and waves uh, to the uh, assembled uh, media and officials uh, at, outside the Site-254 integration facility at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan as the crew then made its way onto the bus to head to the launch pad. As you watch uh, this footage uh, that uh, was fed uh, a short time ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan showing uh, the crew uh, boarding the bus to head to the launch pad. Uh, just one uh, issue uh, that is being monitored, uh, which is of no consequence at this point, uh, one of the zippers on the uh, launch and entry suit, the Sokol suit for Sergei Volkov, broke during uh, the final pressurization of the suit on board the Soyuz uh, TMA-12 this morning. Uh, the inner bladder uh, began bulging out of the area in which the zipper broke. However, uh, the leak checks uh, that were performed uh, are good, and the countdown proceeds uh, uneventfully now for launch in just 21 minutes. You see at the uh, launch pad now uh, the crew uh, in its uh, final farewell to the well-wishers as they began to ride the elevator up to the uh, crew portion uh, where they uh, climbed inside the very tiny Soyuz TMA-12 uh, to begin to strap in for final pre-launch checks and preparations for liftoff that is scheduled less than 21 minutes from now at 6.16 a.m. Central Time. Soyuz rocket and the Soyuz TMA-12 capsule. The first stage of the Soyuz rocket has four liquid-fueled engines strapped to the side of the core vehicle. Each burns for about 1 minute 58 seconds. The core engine also serves as the second stage engine and continues to burn until about the 4 minute 58 second point of the Soyuz's climb to orbit. The third stage has a single engine that will burn for about 4 minutes and 2 seconds, shutting down at the 9 minute mark of the flight. At this point, the Soyuz uh, arrives into initial orbit of about 143 statute miles at its apogee, about 118 miles at its perigee, and uh, the automated process of deploying the TMA-12 capsules arrays and navigational antennas uh, begins. From that point on, there will be a series of uh, rendezvous maneuvers uh, to begin to catch up to the International Space Station. In fact, there are two uh, mid-course correction burns uh, that are scheduled today, a third one tomorrow, uh, before uh, the vehicle moves into its automated rendezvous operations on Thursday that will lead to a docking to the International Space Station just after 8 a.m. Central Time on Thursday. At the time of launch today, uh, the International Space Station will be flying over the Pacific Ocean just west of Pitcairn Island. Inside 30 minutes now to the launch of the Soyuz TMA-12, Inside the capsule itself, uh, Station and Soyuz Commander Sergei Volkov is in the center seat. Flight Engineer Oleg Kononenko is strapped into the left seat as the onboard engineer. And South Korean spaceflight participant So Yun Yi is in the right seat. The 23 and a half foot long Soyuz spacecraft uh, weighs almost 16,000 pounds, is composed of three modules. At the very top is the orbital module. At the bottom is the instrumentation and propulsion module, and sandwiched in between 
the descent module in which the crew resides for launch and landing. That's the only one of the three components that returns to Earth. After the spacecraft reaches orbit, its solar array wings are deployed, spanning almost 35 feet, the entire spacecraft nestled inside a protective shroud at the top of the Soyuz booster that is jettisoned about three minutes after launch. The crew uses the orbital module, sometimes known as the habitation module, during on-orbit operations. That includes the docking mechanism, the hatch, and the rendezvous and navigation antennas.